Hi, this is James from the Hornball Technical Support Team and this is a short tutorial to show you how to set up ODBC connections on your support work server. So I'm going to both explain for a MS SQL connection and a MySQL connection. I'm also going to explain where you need to go for a 64-bit machine and a 32-bit machine. So in regards to actually getting to the ODBC sources, uh, the best way uh, that we find is through the C drive. Um, so for a 32-bit machine, you're going to see Windows System32 and you'll have ODBC AD32. So you'd normally try and access that with admin rights. If you're on a 64-bit machine, you'd normally access this through uh, SysWow64 and then again once you go into SysWow64 you'll have ODBC uh, AD32.exe and again access with uh, elevated rights. So once you've gone into the ODBC connection you'll have a system DSN tab so within here you'll see that two are already in there in regards to the SupportWorks cache and SupportWorks data. Um, so depending on your installation whether it's MySQL or MS SQL um, you will need to have these set up. So the SupportWorks cache one in here you can see has already been set up for the local database because it's on the same server um, against the default username and password and the port. If you're running an MS SQL installation you'd normally add the ODBC connection so using the SQL server driver you would give this a name point this towards the actual IP address or uh, main name of the actual the SQL Server itself or instance um, and when you click on next you'll be provided with a username and password prompt and also if you make sure you choose SQL Server um, authentication rather than Windows. This will uh, authenticate against port 1433 so you may wish to ensure that that particular port is also open. Um, so that's all. Um, that will have a test connection at the end of that, so you may wish to ensure that that's working okay. If you're changing or adding these uh, SQL connections, you may wish to just ensure that you update the database schema editor, which is in the All Programs, Core Services, Database Schema Editor, Database, Manage Database Entities, and updating the actual ODBC connection from here. The one other area as well to make sure is updated is within the SupportWorks Server configuration, which is all programs, SupportWorks Server, SupportWorks Server configuration. Within the database tab there, you'll have the DSN that is trying to pick from, so you can pick up on your uh, MS SQL DSN if you've created a new one. So that's all around uh, ODBC connections. If you have any queries, please let me know.